Hello and welcome back. We're going to write our first PHP script. Now that we have all the boring setup stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and just have open this in our browser and we'll have our text editor open over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a directory um, and we're going to call that directory. So click on new folder and just call it scripts. Hit enter and it will add a new scripts folder here and this is where we're going to put all of our tutorial files okay so go ahead and right click on scripts and add a file and let's call this file echo.php hit enter now we have a new file open okay um, so let's show you how to navigate to this file in the browser so we added a directory called scripts so if you leave your PHP or tutorial whatever you called your uh, your your folder that we put uh, put into the HT docs that'll be your project that'll always be there the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and um, type in uh, scripts because we created that directory and then type in echo.php if you do that you can see that we have a blank page okay and that's totally fine that's what we want okay so to write our first script, um, let's first talk about PHP. The server only knows that the text that's inside your PHP file is um, indeed PHP, something that it needs to run with Apache or Nginx if it's inside of PHP tags. Much like in an HTML file, you can have an H1 and you open and close those tags. And any oops, and anything inside those H1 tags is a big heading. Okay, so if we go back now and refresh, you can see is a big heading. Now, also I want to make sure that if you don't if you don't see this stuff, guys, you have to make sure your server's running. Remember to get there. You need to go and open up uh, your HT Docs. Uh, for me, it's in Applications and HT Docs, and open your Manager and you'll it'll open this up and you need to go to manage servers and make sure that these are all running so go ahead and hit start all if they're not running but they should be running and you should be able to see this right here okay the other thing that I point out is this showed up in the browser and we don't have any PHP here it's important to know that PHP files um, on a server can include HTML and that's really what's cool about using PHP uh, with um, web development is you can write HTML right into your PHP files okay and, it, and that is what we're going to be doing we're mixing PHP and HTML but the difference is that PHP is actually run and processed uh, first on the server it does all the processing and then it returns the results of that processing plus your HTML to the client or the computer and it's rendered by the browser so that whatever PHP that you put in this file will never show up. Um, it will actually uh, just be processed on the server. Okay. So what we're going to do is talk about how to open, much like an H1 tag, it opens like this, and then you close it like this. PHP has the same thing; it has tags. So to open a tag, uh, you do the left hand side, and then a question mark, and then you type PHP. Okay. And then to close. It, I'm going to skip down a few lines and you just do question mark and then the greater than sign or the right chevron okay so everything that happens inside of these two tags is going to be processed by the server okay so now that we've done that let's go ahead and see what happens if I go and refresh I have an empty string that's because we didn't do anything so the first thing that we're going to learn in PHP is how to echo okay so go ahead and do echo and type hello world this is a traditional uh, first script okay so now there's a couple key components to this first we're calling echo which is a PHP function and then we've got a space and then inside of quotes we're printing what's called a string which is a bunch of uh, text characters and those are inside quotes and then we end a PHP line with a semicolon this is how the processor knows it's done with this line, move on to the next line. Okay? Now we don't have a second line, but if I go back to the browser 
and refresh, you can see now that it says hello world. Okay, this is not HTML at this point, this is just text that has been rendered by PHP. Okay, let me show you something else that you can do that's really cool is if I go ahead and skip down, I'm going to go outside of these closing tags, okay, and now let's do our H1 tags again and show you how PHP can actually render inside of a heading tag. So go ahead and open up your PHP tags and we're going to echo space and then we're going to do some quotes and we're going to echo um, um, just, just we'll just what do we want to echo here um, inside of HTML tags okay and then we're going to use our semicolon and then we're going to do a question mark and a closing tag so we could we could uh, go ahead and put these on separate lines here like this and we would leave this indented so that we know it's inside of these two tags that's maybe a cleaner way for you to look at it but if you save that we go back here and refresh we can see now that first it echoes out it runs from top to bottom so PHP always runs from top to bottom and it echoes out hello world and then it comes down here it it has this already in there so that goes right to the browser but it gets to this line it says hey this is some PHP and it runs it and the PHP code that we're, uh, happened to be running here is echoing out some more text and then we're closing our HTML tag and so you see that that inside of H HTML tags is actually uh, in H1 if I right click and choose and click on view page source you can actually see the HTML that is uh, sent to us from the server um, you can see that it, the first one is just hello world there's you notice that there are no PHP tags in here that's because it's not going to send our PHP code to the browser for everyone to see it actually does whatever that code says to do and then um, it in our case we echoed something out echoing just means print to screen okay it's a function that prints to the screen so now that we've done that um, I think echo is maybe I'll show you one more thing um, with echo go ahead and skip down here and let's do another echo um, actually let's go ahead and indent this and come down and close your PHP tags man I can't type all right, so now let's let's do one line of echo, and we're gonna say first echo, and then below that, let's do another line, and let's put a second echo. Okay, so we're gonna print first echo to the screen, and then we're gonna print second echo. Um, but it's important to see what happens when we run this. So let's go back to our code here. I'm going to close down our source and refresh the page. And you can see that it runs first echo and then it runs second echo. You would expect that since you put these on separate lines, or you might expect since you put these on separate lines, that uh, those would be on separate lines in the browser. But that's not the case. The way PHP works is it literally does what it tells you to do in this line. It echoes that, it goes to the next line, and then it echoes something else. And that's exactly what it did here. It echoed the first thing, then PHP moved down to the next line, and then it echoed the second thing. We didn't tell it to put it on a new line. The reason that it's on a new line up here is simply because we actually put this inside of H1 tags, and the browser does that for us. But down here, what we would have to do to have those on separate lines is in between these two we can actually echo out um, a PHP tag or a HTML tag so we can echo out a break tag if we'd like like that and now if we refresh you can see that it does go down to the next line but it's actually still doing the exact same thing it is literally echoing out first echo then this text and then this text so if you look at the go back to the browser and click view page source you'll actually see that it did just that it did first echo then I put our break tag and then it did our second echo and um, what this but 
but the browser sees that BR tag and it renders that for us. Okay, that's that's the browser's job. It's not PHP's job to do that kind of stuff. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out and just give you a little bit of um, context at, as to what we're doing with PHP. But the simple, base, most basic thing that we can learn is the echo, and that will echo out something. Well, we'll print something to the screen. Okay. Well, in the next video, we're going to dive into another concept called. Um, we're, actually, so now that we've created our script here, um, what I would like to do is show you what we're going to be doing with on each video with our um, little website here. So I'd like to, for us to keep track of all the stuff that we're doing. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to create a new menu item over here, and then we're going to create a page over here. And so what I've done is I've um, given you guys uh, so a template. So if you go to Pages, you'll see this template file. If you right-click on Template, click Duplicate. And we're going to name this echo.php. Okay? And then it'll, it'll open that echo.php. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to um, the menu, and we need to add this to the menu. So if you look down here, there's an li tag. Just go ahead and copy that whole thing by using Command or Control C. Um, and then what we're going to do is go down to the next line and paste it. So we've just copied it. And what we're going to do is replace right here instead of typing uh, index, go ahead and type um, um, pages and then uh, forward slash and then echo.php and then right here where it says index.php just change that to echo.php it doesn't you don't really have to understand what all this is doing right now um, but I'll kind of explain it more as we go so you can close the menu now that you've done that and uh, if you go back to echo here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So if we refresh the page now, oops, I forgot to do something. So go back to the menu.php file. And I forgot to change this right here. In be right here in between these two uh, tags, the A tags, we're going to change just that word home to echo. Okay. Now let's go back and refresh. And now you can see we have home and echo. If we click on Echo, it'll take us to this uh, little screen right here. And so what I'd like for you to do is um, take a look at this echo.php. So let's change right here in this H2. We're going to change this to Echo. And then for the description, we're going to type in the Echo function prints a string or number. Well, we'll just for now, let's just say an echo function prints to the screen. Okay? And then um, I've left, you can just leave this right here, but this will actually be a link to the official PHP uh, documentation online to the echo function so that you can read more about it. Okay? And then right here, what we're doing is we're actually printing out what we've typed in our in here so you'll see this exact thing and it'll be syntax highlighted and then we render that as results on the page so you can see what the code is and then what it renders okay and then what I've done is down here if you look in this div where there's this video what I'd like for you to do is go to the YouTube video you're looking at right now I can't look at because I haven't uploaded it obviously but I'm just gonna go to um, my YouTube channel. Oops. So I'm going to go here to my YouTube channel. And I'm just going to pick a video and I'm going to go to there. So what you're going to do is pick uh, the video that you're watching right now. So you just go down below the video, pause it, and then click on share. And then you're going to click on embed right here and then just click copy over here. That'll copy the embed code. Close that. Go back here to where it says vi there's a comment here that says video embed code. Um, highlight this entire line next to it with the iframe and paste the video embed code there. 
OK. Uh, what that will do is um, that will put this video about Echo that you're watching right now on this page. So what's really cool is as we go along, we're going to build out these each chapter will have its own page. And so you can see that what Echo is our first one, and it tells you what it does. And then if you click right here on PHP Manual, it'll open in another tab the page directly to the documentation about Echo. The other thing that we have is the video. So if you've done correctly, you'll have the video you're watching right now on this page that you can come back and reference later so you don't have to remember everything. And the other thing I've done is given you this notes section that you can put your own notes in. So to do that, all you're going to do is come back to your um, pages and go to echo.php and right here I've left a comment and you can type your notes here. So what I'd like for you to do is put into your own words what Echo does. So I'm going to type the Echo function uh, will print things to the screen. Now you can make as much notes as you want. We're on a pretty simple thing right now, so there's not much notes. But if I refresh, your notes will be right there. Okay? So you can just type whatever you want there. That, that will remind you later uh, what's going on. But I want to show you this. So right here, uh, you can see we're echoing out. every. This is actually printing your script that we wrote. See? This is the, echo, the script that we wrote. So you can reference that without actually going into the source code, but here it is. If you go back here to right here, and then to the right of that, this is what the browser will render from this. So you can look over here and say, well, it echoes hello world. And then we have some h1 tags, and inside that it's going to say inside of H HTML tags, so that's this. And then we have echo first echo, and then a break tag, and then a second tag. So make some notes, and I hope you guys. I hope this is useful for you. I thought um, when I was first learning, I would have to go back and watch a video a bunch of times, and that meant that sometimes I have to go back and find it a bunch of times. Um, so I figured we would create this little website as we go, and you get to keep this, and you can reference this as we go throughout the course. So we're starting. Our homepage doesn't have anything on it right now. We'll probably go back and add some things later here just as reminders like how to do the tags and a few other things we're learning but then chapter one starts with echo our next chapter that we're going to do in the next video is going to be about variables so i'll see you there